I want to be by myself. This is what I'm craving and I'm not lonely. Like this is all my choice, you know what I'm saying? I'm choosing to be by myself. I'm choosing to do these things by myself. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you guys my current autumn evening routine that has been so enjoyable for me lately. So I try to finish up some work around 4 to 5 p.m. and it really just depends on the day. Then if I don't get my movement in the mornings, I will do it in the evenings just depending on what classes that class pass has to offer me. Sometimes my studio is booked out for the morning so I have to do evening classes. I prefer morning workouts but this day the only available Pilates class was at 5.30 so I attended that one. Pilates is single-handedly changing my physical and mental well-being. I really can't put into words how challenging Pilates is unless you like actually attend a class. I highly recommend proformer classes, which are essentially bigger and better reformers, like the machines that allow you to do harder moves. I've been consistently going to the studio for about four weeks now, and I have felt a huge difference in my body, specifically my core. This is genuinely the only workout that I truly look forward to, and it's the hardest workout I've ever done. Even when I was an athlete in college, nothing compares to this Pilates class. And honestly, the best part of this class is just like the feeling after. I just feel like a hot girl, and incorporating Pilates in my day-to-day -day has been amazing. After Pilates, I get straight into making dinner. On tonight's menu, it was just a simple red sauce pasta with ground turkey, mushrooms, garlic, spinach, and shallots. My favorite red sauce is the Rouse marinara sauce. It's like so flavorful and so clean and good for you. Like it has ingredients you can actually pronounce and there's no preservatives, which I love. <laughs> Lately, I've been obsessed with Poppy. I'm so grateful they sent over some PR and so I've just been trying every flavor. And my favorites so far are the strawberry, lemon, and the watermelon flavors. I always pour them in a wine glass to romanticize my evenings even more and just make it cuter. I always clean up the kitchen as soon as I'm done eating because I don't love the feeling of touching dirty dishes after I shower. I don't know why, it's just like how my brain is wired. It just feels wrong to me. After dinner, I shower the day away. I don't usually take baths. I just get bored when I just sit there, but I wanted to incorporate a bath in this video because it's the idea of it that's like very cozy and I wanted to give you guys ideas of what to incorporate into your own evening routine. So it's just an idea. I honestly just had a bath bomb left over from Lush that I wanted to get rid of. So I decided to draw a bath and drink my poppy and just romanticize this evening. And side note, please shower after you bathe because you are literally just sitting in your dirty water. You're not even getting clean. So please do that after. As soon as I'm done showering, I lather myself in my favorite body moisturizer. This one is from La Ossetane. It's the Milk Concentrate Body Moisturizer and it smells delicious. It feels so luxe on my skin. And then I'll do my skincare and I've been loving the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Moisturizing Serum. It's not greasy at all and it just locks in all the moisture in my skin. I then go in with some eye cream from Ose. This one is very moisturizing and creamy and I just love giving my eyes a little circular massage to give my eyes a break from my screens, from using my contacts all day. And then I'll follow up with my Kiehl's Soft Cream Moisturizer to lock everything in and I'll finish off with a Laneige lip mask to keep me hydrated all night. Going into my favorite part of my autumn evening routine, I make the house cozy with soft lights and candles to really get into the autumn vibes. This ball lamp is my favorite, it's from Ikea, and I put in a smart bulb so I can just adjust it to any color, and it makes my space so much cozier, and it's even better that I can control it from my phone.
can't end the evening without a sweet treat, so I'm just baking these pumpkin cinnamon rolls that take little to no effort, and they are the perfect sweet treat for autumn. Anything pumpkin spice definitely has a place in my day to romanticize the season. <laughs> Every autumn, I always rewatch the Twilight Saga. It's like the autumn rite of passage for me. I rotate between the Twilight Saga, Harry Potter, Vampire Diaries, and Gilmore Girls. Those movies and shows are my favorite for the season, so I've been ending my days with watching one of those. After watching about half the movie, I was ready to give my eyes a break from my screen, so I cozied up in my bed and continued reading my book. I'm reading the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. Sarah J. Mass is hands down my favorite fantasy writer and literally makes me feel like I'm living a thousand different lives because I get so emotionally attached to her books. I also recommend this book light. It's the best book light I've found. It's from Amazon and it just clips onto your book. It has three different colors of lights and four levels of brightness for each. And after about 30 minutes of reading, I make myself hard stop around 10 to 10 30 ish because I'm working on being more consistent with my sleeping schedule so I can wake up earlier. And I always put my phone on DD from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. every day. I highly recommend putting your phone on do not disturb from a certain time period just to give yourself a break from being in touch with literally everything in the world and that is my autumn evening routine thank you so much for watching and i hope you're enjoying the autumn season love you bye